A woman has been spared jail after a judge stated one person's banter may be insulting to others. Hi there and thank you for joining me in another video that just gone viral. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and smash the subscribe button underneath to stay up to date with regular and consistent content. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Joanne Dodd, who is 39, glassed Cole Copper in a Manchester pub last September. Joanne Dodd, who is 39 and a mother of one, was drunk when she glassed a pub drinker after he wrongly guessed her age, has been spared jail after a female judge said, one person's banter may be insulting to others. The mother of one flew into a rage and attacked Cole Copper after he suggested she was 43 in the beer garden of the Unicorn Pub in Manchester City Centre last September on the 9th. Mr Copper fled to the toilet in a bid to get away from her and the heated situation, but when he came out, Dodd ran towards him and twice shoved her wine glass in his face. He was left with a four-inch laceration to his face, narrowly missing his eye and an injury to his thumb. When she was quizzed by police, Dodd, who runs a firm which organises children's sleepover parties, said she was suffering from low self-esteem at the time and that the banter was disobliging to her. Joanne Dodd then flew into a fit of rage when the man guessed she was four years older than she was. At Manchester Crown Court, Dodd, who is from Swinton in Salford, faced up to three years in jail under sentencing guidelines after she admitted inflicting grievous bodily harm. However, she was spared jail and handed a suspended sentence after a female judge, Elizabeth Nichols, said she was a dedicated, hard-working woman who posed no risk to the public. I think that might be questionable after her actions that she carried out, don't you? The judge told Dodd, It is obvious that you have been drinking heavily and that there was undoubtedly some verbal exchange between you and the other group. You did not appreciate the comments made by Mr Cooper, and one person's banter may be insulting to others, but that did not justify what you then went on to do. You were seen to be approaching him, throwing your drink over him, and then striking him deliberately in the face with the glass that you had. Your conduct was incomprehensible. The only explanation that can really be put forward is that you were under an influence of drink which does you no credit. It was no doubt traumatic for Mr Cooper and it would have a major impact on him. Fortunately, he seems to have made a good recovery. I have seen the photos where the scar is barely noticeable but to him it will be a constant reminder of your conduct on that night. There will be a very unpleasant injury. It is a grave injury but fortunately there is no permanent disfigurement. The judge then went on to add, there is no mitigation about the circumstances of the offence itself, but there is mitigation in relation to you. You are a woman with no previous convictions, you have never been in a court of law before, and you have a positive good character. Prosecutor Emma Clark said Cole Cooper and his friend Stuart Coleman were in the beer garden and the defendant was intoxicated. Mr Cooper and his friends were having a light-hearted conversation with the defendant's sister, which then turned to the topic of age. Mr Cooper guessed the ages of the two women, but the defendant, Joanne Dodd, took offence at Mr Cooper's guess. The conversation then became heated from there and she told Mr Cooper that she would glass him. He went to the toilet to get away from the situation and the defendant and her sister proceeded to the main bar area but she caught sight of Mr Cooper as he left the toilet and immediately ran towards him, striking him twice in the face with a glass causing a laceration to the face and narrowly missing his eye. The defendant then left the Unicorn pub shortly after the attack, but subsequently was arrested at Tesco's store a short time later. The injury to Mr Cooper's face was treated with stitches. At court, Dodd was sentenced to 12 months in prison, suspended for 12 months and was ordered to complete 180 hours of unpaid work. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you let this woman run your child's sleepover parties, or would you just give it a miss?
I hope you enjoyed the video and the content. If you do, smash the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.